Welcome to part two of a video tutorial series on electric lighting simulations in Climate Studio. In this tutorial, we will review how to perform a point in time illuminance simulation for a group of luminaires in Grasshopper. To begin, open Rhino and type Grasshopper into the Rhino command line. Navigate to the Climate Studio tab and click on the CS Workflow Templates button. Drag the component to the canvas and click Select, then Point in Time Illuminance Simple Office Electric Lighting. A workflow template is generated with geometry already baked into the script. The internal geometry is defined here. Just like in Rhino, we can assign materials to our geometric elements. You can either use the text box as a search string or click select to browse the Climate Studio Materials library. Windows can be edited here. Right below we have the Luminaire component. Click on the button next to IES to select from the IES files that ship with Climate Studio. You can also add your own IES file by connecting a full file path to this component. The grid component defines your current occupied areas for use in the simulation. The grids, windows, luminaires, and surface layers are all fed into the daylight model component. From here, the data is used to create a Climate Studio Illuminance results file. I'll change the name of the simulation result to Electric Lighting Run A and then press the Run button. Once the simulation has completed, a metric table will populate with mean illuminance and median illuminance in lux. The Rhino simulation grids will also visualize the illuminance results. Use the text box here to update the false color maximum scale value or select the gradient component to change the false color palette altogether. The sensor point values can also be visualized on the simulation grids by using the following group of components. Extract CS Sensor Grid Data, Deconstruct CS Sensor Grid, and Tab. After turning the preview on, the text tags are now visible. Let's run one more simulation, this time using a different luminaire. I'll change the name of our simulation to Electric Lighting Run B, then press Run. Both our metric table and illuminance sensor tags have updated. I can also quickly go back to my original run by changing the name of my file back to run A. In part 3 of this video series on electric lighting in Climate Studio, I'll review how to parameterize this workflow. Thank you for watching and happy simulations!